There has been a dramatic rise in syphilis cases among Houston women. The Houston Health Department is reporting a spike of 128% in cases and a nine-fold rise in congenital syphilis in Houston and Harris County. To help us understand the complications to not only the women, but their babies as well, we have Rubina Joseph. She is a primary care and infectious specialist, disease specialist physician at Legacy Community Health. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. This is such an important topic because syphilis is so easily treated. So first, let's start off with understanding and explaining to us what syphilis is and what it looks like. Sure, syphilis is um, is an infectious disease. It's a, it's a bacterial infection that's transmitted primarily through sex and there are many stages to the disease but it usually starts off as a painless sore and then, and then it progresses to later stages if left untreated and it's very easily treated like you said. So as an infectious spe disease specialist what do you think is giving rise to this dramatic spike? So there are many reasons uh, for the rise. First of all um, STDs in general have been on the rise all across America um, and syphilis is one of them and Houston is feeling it and the specific rise you're talking about about is in uh, women and uh, in congenital uh, syphilis also. Like you said, a 128% increase uh, for women and about a ninefold increase in congenital syphilis. And I would say one of the most important reasons is uh, a reduced access to preventative uh, treatment uh, resources. Um, uh, and screening resources also, and that's been ongoing for the past few years, and it's been exacerbated, I would say, by the COVID-19 pandemic. Can you explain what congenital syphilis is? Because I even had to look it up. What's the difference here? Sure, so congenital sy syphilis is uh, syphilis that's transmitted from mother to child. So basically, um, if a mother has syphilis, she can give it to the baby while she's pregnant, and the baby can uh, go ahead and will be born with syphilis. That's scary. Are there severe complications if this goes untreated? Absolutely. There are complications for in congenital syphilis and in syphilis in an adult uh, who is non-pregnant also. So in uh, a non-pregnant person, um, if left untreated, it can progress to later forms, which can affect your brain, your heart, your bones, and can lead to death eventually. And that can be anywhere from a few years to many years uh, without treatment. And in congenital syphilis, yes, it can cause a lot of congenital abnormalities. The baby can be born with abnormalities and eventually death also. So besides pregnant women, who else should be tested for syphilis? So anyone who has had unprotected sex, uh, had sex with anonymous partners, multiple partners, um, anyone uh, uh, who, who's basically at, at risk for contracting any STDs. So if you have a suspicion, then you should go and get uh, tested. Okay, say um, we suspect we have syphilis, someone goes to community, uh, Legacy Community Health, what kind of services can they receive there? So we do screening, uh, we do uh, prevent, uh, preventative care like uh, counseling for how to prevent STDs, safe sex, and also uh, we treat you also, we have a pharmacy there. Oh, that's, so it's one-stop shop for it's, treatment. Exactly. That's so great to hear. Okay, so if somebody wants to book an appointment, you can go ahead and call Legacy Community Health at the number there on your screen, or they can go to your website? My we Yes, our website, so www.legacycommunityhealth.org. Thank you so much, Dr. Joseph. We You're really welcome. appreciate your knowledge and your expertise in this. Go ahead and head over to our website as well. We've got more information on this huge spike in syphilis cases among Houston women. You're watching CW39 Houston. No wait weather and traffic. We'll be right back.